Hi guys, good evening. Guys, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Hi, good evening. How are you? How is everything? I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> but thanks God, it's Friday. <laughs> yeah, it is Friday. It is Friday. It is Friday. We have to celebrate by <laughs> teaching or working. Okay. I'm glad yes. that you're here. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. <laughs> and uh, tell me how, well, are you going to work tomorrow? No, I I just work uh, from Monday to Friday. You don't? Okay, okay, that's that's good, that's decent. All right. Uh, thank you, Julia, for for joining the class. Okay, it's a pleasure to to have you here. Thank you. All right, guys. Hello. Uh, thank you for being here. Welcome. Good evening, Hello. teacher. Good evening. Good evening, lesson. Gabriela, Juli, ah, Juli, you already talked to me. Ah. Zulma, Ana, Adriana, and Carla. Thank you guys for being here. Yes. You look amazing. But I look even more amazing yeah. than you. So. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. Hi, Ana. Okay. Let me, uh, we already have a few people here. Thank you for joining Luis. And uh, yeah, let me take attendance then. And then we will get into the whole thing, yes. Hold on. This is taking a little bit longer than I expected. <laughs> okay. Let me take attendance. Hi. Hi. I would like to ask uh, permission for today. I'm uh, currently at the airport to just uh, listen. Okay. Be careful, Luis. Thank if, you. you're, if you're driving, drive carefully, okay? Thank you. I will. Have a good okay. one. Yes. Yeah. Hello, Elvin Guadalupe. Welcome. Thank you guys for being here. All right. Ana Patricia Linares. No, right? Not yet. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Matias. Ana Selvi Chévez. Present teacher. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Hello, present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Caldames. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. I will be at the house soon. Okay. I said Jose Ernesto, no, right? Julia Patricia Vasquez Santos. Present. Carla Verónica Vasquez de Rivas. Present. Lourdes Beatriz Ir Iraeta de Miranda. There, he's driving. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez. Present teacher. Ophelia Oriana Arce. No Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. No. Rosa Elena Salgado del Serrano. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. 
Walter Antonio, sorry, Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Good evening, present. Hi, Walter, welcome. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Zulma Rosara López García. Present. Flor de María Carvalho Ugarte. Present, teacher. Hi, Flor. Edwin Alexander Ayala Arazo. And Wendy Patricia Molina. Okay, excellent, we're done. Guys, thank you for being here. It's Friday and uh, well, we're here. <laughs> we're not celebrating, we're, it's Friday and we're not celebrating and it's okay. So today we're gonna be talking about something that you already know, well, you know a little bit about. Hold on, I'm trying to find that, but this one, this is, this one. Okay, guys, I'm going to share with you what we're gonna be doing today. This is what we're gonna be doing. Okay, we will continue talking about the third conditional, okay, to describe unreal situations in the past. We will continue talking about this and we will try to, um, how can I say this? Hmm. Take ourselves to the next level, you know, to get better at this topic, to, to improve, to master this topic, okay? That's what we're gonna be doing today, okay? That's the, the, the third conditional to describe unreal situations in the past. Okay, but but now uh, it's it's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of practice today. So we're gonna start with the third conditional. Uh, thank you. I don't know how I did that, but I, I managed to, to kind of. All right, I was saying the third conditional, the third conditional, it's a very complicated structure. Okay, and a lot of English people or learners have problems when they are studying this, this, this topic that you see over here, okay? Third conditional. And uh, <clears throat> this is the, the definition that I uh, presented yesterday. And it's the same with a different example though, but the definition is the same. So we use the third conditional to talk about or to refer to a past action that was never performed, okay? And uh, we also express hypothetical results. We use, okay, we use, so uh, hold on, here. Uh, well, third conditional, imagined, situations unreal situations and also hypothetical okay that's that's what we use the third conditional for okay we use it for for these three things it's the same okay the third conditional is used for imagined situations, unreal situations, and hypothetical situations, which is basically the same, okay? Look at the example, people. Veamos el ejemplo, and uh, we're gonna break it down, okay? If, if Selmi had prepared herself better, look at this. If Selmi had prepared herself better, 
she would have performed flawlessly. She would have performed flawlessly. Guys, what is flawlessly? Do you know what flawlessly is? Flawlessly means impeccable, okay? With no problems. With no problems, okay? With no, with perfectly, that's what I say, perfectly. Flawlessly is perfectly, okay? Si se hubiera preparado bien, o se hubiera preparado mejor, ella habría, how do you say perform in Spanish? Performed. Guys, how do you say perform in Spanish? No es el rendimiento, but, but I don't remember the action in, in, in Spanish. I can't remember this. I can't, I can't. Guys, my internet is, is, is uh, giving me some problems. Okay. I think I'm going to have my camera off for a few minutes because my internet is, is it has some flaws. Okay. All right. Let's continue here. Okay. Uh, we're going to look at the structure. Again, we're going to look at the structure. And I need you guys, if you can take notes, I need you to do so. All right. Uh, as I told you yesterday, we started the sentence, but not necessarily. We could like start with the, with the result sentence. We start or we, we initiate with if. Then after if, we need to, to, have an, uh, to have a subject, a person. A person, place, animal, or thing, you know? Okay. If Astrid, Astrid had read, if Astrid had read the instructions carefully, the instruction carefully, if Astrid had read the instruction carefully, she would have done the task neatly, the task Neatly. Neatly means impeccable. Okay. If Astrid had read the instruction carefully, she would have done the task neatly. Okay. Do you understand the sentence in Spanish, guys? Do you understand it? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. All right. Perfect. 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 Let's continue here. So uh, let me uh, refresh your mind with this topic, with the past participle. Well, let me go back. There's a lot to explain here. People, yesterday I was telling you that we used uh, the past participle form of the verb or the past participle form of every verb. And look at this, we have the verb here, the verb read, and we have the verb done. Okay, those are verbs. Those are verbs. Okay, what you see underlined, that's an auxiliary. Had, no es verbo, es un auxiliar. Would have, no es un verbo, son auxiliares. Okay, the verb is the one that is in circle. That's the verb. Okay, that is the verb. Okay, and the verb is in the past participle form. Está en pasado participio, okay. The past participle form is uh, mostly none by the do ending, okay? In pasado participio, el verbo termina en, en o prácticamente, bailado, bebido, conducido o manejado, dormido, okay? Ido, visto, colocado, puesto, etc. So, there's always a, an o at the end. Okay, there's always an O at the end. <clears throat> Guys, do you have any questions? I need you to ask me questions or I need you to clear your, 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 uh, your uh, questions. Guys, ask me. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. 
going to have an uh, Have is not going to change even though we are using third person or, or third person. It doesn't matter what, what we're using. It doesn't matter what we're using, okay? The auxiliaries will never change. Not this auxiliary had, not these auxiliaries. They won't change. There is no change. Well, with would have, there, there's not, it's not a change, but it's a combination of the words. It's a contraction, would have, okay? We can, we también se puede hacer así, okay? Ya sea would have or would have, both are correct, okay? And the, the auxiliaries, they remain the same, okay? No se mueve. La auxiliar, el auxiliar had no se mueve. El would have tampoco se mueve, okay? Y el verbo tiene que, tiene que ir en pasado participio. Okay, yes. Excellent. More questions, people? More questions? No? Okay, then. That is okay. Now, look. Past participle, past participle. Yesterday, I told you that every verb has five forms. Okay, the S form and the ING form are not included here. I have just included the base form, the past form, and the past participle form. Okay, presente, pasado, el futuro, y, y, y perfecto, prácticamente. Okay, Re report is reportar. Okay, anunciar, report. Report is, a, is a, the, the base form. Okay, reportar. Reported is reporté, reportó, reportamos, etc. Okay, that's reported. And past participle, reported también reportado. Okay, that means reportado. Okay, I have, well, I have reported, yo he reportado. Ese es el pasado participio, okay, que termina en O. El verbo termina en O, reportado. Okay, yes. Then we have strike over here, another verb, another demonstration here about, about how we use it, how we use the third conditional with, with the past participle. Strike, what is strike, people? Strike, what is a strike? Huelga. Okay, hacer huelga, huelga, golpe. Okay, golpear, that's what strike is, all right? And uh, well, we have the three forms here, la más la, la, la presente, okay, pasado y el perfecto. Strike, golpear, stroke, golpe. And stricken, how would you guys say stricken in Spanish, guys? Golpeando. Sorry? Golpeando. Okay, golpeando, you said. Yes. Okay, guys, remember, remember que el verbo de pasado participio termina con O, golpeado. Okay, golpeado. That, that's how it would be. Okay. O hacer huelga, hecho huelga. Okay, hecho huelga. That would, that would, how it would be. Okay, yes. Guys, do you have any questions now or questions so far? Teacher, is yeah. this verb, the past for is the past participle is not a stroke. Sorry? Yes, it can be stroke, 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 or stroke stricken. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are some verbs. Thank you for the question. Uh, good question, by the way. There are some verbs, very specific ones, very, very specific ones that we can use the same pass. Uh, that we can use two forms in the past participle. We could we could use stroke, no problem, yes. Or we could use stricken, all right? Yes, both are correct. The same happens with the verb learn, learn and learned. If learned then with T is not very common. It's like very, very uh, rare. Okay, but there are some verbs that, that have two past participle forms. Okay, learned, learned, burned, burned. Okay, yes, more questions? No, okay then, let's continue, let's move on. <clears throat> Over here I have more examples, okay. 
uh, except for the last, well, no, 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 I changed the other ones. Okay, but we are going to reread them and I would like a person to read the first one. Let me see, Edgardo, can you please read the first one? The example with Pamela, can you read it please? Edgardo is not there, okay. Who is Edgardo? No. Edgardo, you, Edgardo. Yes, Edgardo. Ah, okay. Go. Mm -hmm. no. Example, if Pamela had sent the reporter Sonia, she would have received the employee of the month at Edward. Okay, she would have received. If Pamela had sent a report sooner, she would have, or she would have received the employee of the month award. Thank you, Nelson, for reading. Okay, notice the structure of Temo La Estructura, people. Let's break it down. Let's break it down. The Nemo's hat here. Okay, we, we're not gonna touch it. Okay, we're not touching hat. Okay, because it is the same, it doesn't change. It doesn't matter which subject we use. We always use hat as the auxiliary, and then we use the verb in the past participle form. Okay. And in here, we are not touching, the auxiliaries would have, we're not, okay? And we have to use the past participle form after have in this case, okay? Yes, all right. Another person, thank you, that's one for reading. Carla, can you please read? Thank you, Carla. Okay. If, if Guadalupe Lopez had written the memo, no one would have showed, showed up to the brief. Okay. If Guadalupe had, Lopez had written the memo, no one would have shown up, showed up to the brief. As you see, again, we continue with had, okay? And then written, no es, no es written, it's written, 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 okay? That's how it goes. If you have the, the chance to to, uh, to improve yourselves with the, hold on, I will share, I will look for this information right now because it's interesting, give me a second. I will share with you a link through Zoom. This link will contain some interesting information about, about how to improve your pronunciation. There are some words, many words, that uh, we don't really know how they are pronounced. We don't really know how they are pronounced. For example, the word that I just sent to the chat, it's a word that is difficult to pronounce for some people. Okay, and they just try to go with the, with the easiest way to pronounce it, all right? That's the word. Uh, over here, or I will say, or people will say certain, right? Certain, certain, okay? Sorry, but let me look for the information. This is the one. Um, silent letters in, in English. Silent B. Bomb. Okay. Sorry. I was just looking for the info. I got it. The link has been shared to you through the Zoom chat. Whenever you have the chance to look at the video, go ahead and look at it. It's very interesting. It shows you or the person teaches you that there are many words that have silent letters and the letters are not pronounced. Okay. And the word that I sent to the chat is uh, certain. It's not certain, it's certain, certain, certain. All right. So that's a, a, a something that you have to look at. 
I, that video is really interesting. Go ahead and take a look at it. All right, let's continue. We have read two, two examples already. Let's see. The third example, Gabby, can you please read it? The third one. Okay. If Carla Vasquez had taken the training, she would have been promoted. Okay, if Carla's, Carla Vasquez had taken the training, she would have been promoted. All right, yes. As you see, I have been telling you that we are not changing anything here. We have had, would have, okay. Eso no lo cambiamos, lo dejamos siempre ahí, okay. The only different thing here is the, the verb, people, the verb. El verbo, el sujeto y complemento son la diferencia, okay. Sí, el verbo cambia, okay. Let's continue with the next example. Thank you, Gabriela, for reading. Uh, Flor, are you there? Hi, Flor. Hi, teacher. Can you please read the fourth example? Okay. If Walter had led the team steadily, he would have reached the goals quickly. Okay. It says if, <clears throat> if Walter had led the team steadily, he would have reached the goals quickly. Okay. Thank you for reading. Uh, welcome, Ophelia, Rosa, and Jose. Thank you guys for joining the class. Adriana, Adriana, can you please read the last example? The last one. Okay. Yeah. If Sandra and Susana had filled the document, it would have pleased the boss. Okay. If Sandra and Susana had filed the documents, it would have pleased the boss. Okay. All right, guys, questions? No? Okay, next. <clears throat> In these following sentences, five sentences, there are mistakes, okay? There are mistakes. I need you guys to read them and check the mistakes and rewrite the sentences, okay? Vamos a reescribir arreglando los errores, all right? Okay, people, go. I will give you three days to finish that. <laughs> three days. Ooh. No, you don't want three days? I will give you some time to do that, okay? Let's do it individually. Read the, the sentences. If you see a mistake, correct it and rewrite the sentence, please. Thank you. Guys, let me know. I'm waiting. 
the mistakes are obvious. <laughs> I finished, teacher. Thank you, Julia, for for confirming, for letting me know. Guys, what about the rest? You got it. Finished, teacher. Thank you, thank you very much for letting me know. And the rest, people. All right. We're gonna we're gonna start checking this out. Let me see if we can go through the first example. The people that have not really participated today are <clears throat> Jose. Are you there, Jose Ernesto? Nope. I think he's not there. Okay, Guadalupe, go. Guadalupe? No, nobody's available today. It's Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. Rosa, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, could you please read the first one? Yes. If Goku had lost against Freezer, the Earth will will be experience his wrath. Okay. If Goku had lost against Freezer, the Earth would have experienced his his wrath. Okay, his wrath. What All is right. wrath, teacher? Wrath is rabia, furia. Okay. But but no no the the the, the momento okay so no just Furia de ya, ya. Okay. Natural, okay. It says Furia, the momento is rage. Rage. Okay, people, what is the mistake, Rosa? I'm sorry. Luz. What, what, sorry? Instead of lose, it's uh, lost. Okay, the mistake, people, the mistake. Ah, the verb. The mistake the right here is the verb, the verb lose. lose okay, it lost. is not lose. It has to be lost. lost. Okay. And that is what? Past participle. Past participle. Past participle. Lost. I um, have so I have I, I, I'm I'm going to be very, very uh, sincerely. <laughs> I have very, very uh, difficult. Uh, problems with this <laughs> with this topic but i am trying to understand <laughs> i know i know and the difficult thing is not that structure the difficult thing is the verb you have to remember the verbs you know the forms thank you rosa for reading uh let me see walter can you please read the second one uh, is the boy had payment the bonus and not one and one 
uh, when or strike. Okay. It says, if he did not have paid pay the bonus, no one would have went for strike. So, guys, what about what? What's the mistake over here? Uh, what's the mistake? Excuse me. What is the mistake? What is the problem in the sentence? Is the payment? What is it? Payment? Pay? No. The mistake is yes, I know. The mistake is pay, but but the pay. the problem is the form. What is the form? Paid. Okay. So the mistake, the mistake is you are right. You are right, Walter. The mistake is pay. And the answer is paid. Okay. And this, paid. Is, this is what Julia said. Paid. Okay. Is that the only mistake in the sentence, people? No, in this case, the other verb uh -huh. is not in partis in past participle. The okay. go. When is the past? In the past participle come. Okay, you are right. The verb went is not in the past participle form, it's just the past form. Okay, go, went, and the past participle form is gone. All right, gone. Que significa fuido. Okay. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. A ver. Don't, don't, take, don't take it seriously. <laughs> yes, I know, yes, I know. <laughs> Nadie hubiera ido. Nadie hubiera ido. Okay. Teacher. It's a joke, okay? Yes, tell me. In the structure, in the article, is, is correct. It's the boss. It's the boss. Yeah, the article, article is correct. No problem. Yes, yes. Si el jefe, si el jefe, yes. O si la jefa. It is correct. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Excellent, people. Thank you very much for reading. The next one, and number three. Uh, yes, Patricia Vasquez Santos, Julia. Okay. Uh, if I had sent the package on time, they would have, they wouldn't have canceled it. Okay, canceled it. All right, all right, let me read it, let me read it. If I have a send package on time, they wouldn't have canceled it. What is the mistake here, guys? Can you tell me what the mistake is? The verb. Okay, the verb, the verb canceled. Send. In, instead of send, it's send. No, the auxiliary to teacher. Ah, uh -huh. there you go, there you go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're right, you are right. Okay. The whole thing is, is wrong. Okay, not have sent. Okay, is it is people have. Okay, have sent. Okay, have. <laughs> and let's continue with the next one. Uh well, the, the next they they wouldn't have canceled it. That's correct. The last, the next one, the next one, let me see. A beautiful person, please read. Nobody's beautiful. <laughs> no. Me, teacher. <laughs> Me, participate. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. It's okay. <laughs> All right. All right. If she withdrew, withdrew the money, she will have both some food. It's for me. Oh, oh okay, teacher. You, you, okay, for you it is okay. Yes. I'm going to, I'm going to drive to your house and I'm going to. Uh, I am the auxiliary teacher. Okay, the auxiliary is missing. <laughs> I'm going to drive right to your house and I'm going to hit you with the laptop. Yes. I'm kidding. Okay. The problem here is, well, we don't have the first auxiliary. We don't have the first auxiliary. That's the problem here. 
no hay auxiliar, no está had, falta had. And the verb withdrew is not in the past participle form, withdrew is in the past form. So, so it will be had with withdrawn. Okay, had withdrawn. If she had withdrawn the money, she would have bought some food. Yeah. The auxiliary in the yes, second part. Okay, exactly. The auxiliary right. in the second part is not right. It's not had, okay? It's not had. We use have. Have. All right. That's how we use it. And the last one, let me see. A volunteer, please. Thank you. Go ahead. Volunteer, read. No volunteers? Me, teacher. Thank you, Nelson. Excellent. If the neighbor neighbor has watched the cereal, he wouldn't have enjoyed it. Okay. This one is it has a lot of mistakes. So guys, what uh which are the mistakes in this sentence? Nelson and people? The auxiliary teacher. The auxiliary, the auxiliary is there. he has watched. Okay, and what about the, the next sentence? Would have enjoyed it? Enjoy it. Guys, what about the second part? He would have enjoyed it. It's a goal. Okay, in the second one, we have the verb enjoy it. Not it has to be enjoyed with ed, enjoyed, enjoy right? It. And also, the verb in the first sentence is incorrect. Okay, had watched, not wash, wash is laval. Okay, yes. Si hubiera lavado la, la, la serie, <laughs> makes no sense, right? All right. If the neighbor had watched the series, he would have enjoyed it, okay? Si el vecino hubiera visto la serie, okay, la hubiera disfrutado. People, questions? I'm joking, okay, visto. I know he's visto, so relax. <laughs> Guys, questions? No? In the structure, the chair in the structure is uh, had is necessary or. Yes, yes. In the in the, the structure, we need had. Okay, ese no se, mueve, no se puede mover. Permanece. Had, had in the if sentence. Okay, in the sentence, la, la, la oración with would, siempre permanece would have, would have, would have, would have, would have, all us. All right? Okay, thank you. Guys, more questions? Ask me because we, we're not gonna have another chance to, to talk about this. So let's let's clear this up. No, we're good. Okay. I believe, teacher, that this part is more complicated because in Spanish we don't respect that structure for the the third conditional. Because in Spanish, nosotros ah, si el vecino, si el vecino hubiera visto la serie, la hubiera disfrutado. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's true. Eh? It's complicated. The structure is complicated. That's why. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. And now, before we go on to the next part, I'm going to give you a verb. I'm going to give you one specific verb that you will use to create a question. Okay. Not an example. It's going to be a question. But for that, I'm going to show you how to write questions, 
¿ok? Acá les muestro. Hay dos formas. There are two ways to ask questions if you, sorry, if you had, now whatever verb we want, listened, listen to Bad Bunny, baby, baby, baby. If you had listened to Bad Bunny, I don't like this music, okay? No me gusta, así que no, no. <laughs> okay. If you had listened to Bad Bunny, would you have, would you have, okay? Habemos el would con el you para hacer la pregunta. Would you have enjoyed it? Sorry. Would you have enjoyed it? Okay. Or you can say, would you have enjoyed if you had listened to Bad Bunny? Okay. The question is the same. Es la misma. La diferencia es el orden. Okay. Yes. Easy, right? Pero si les gustan los retos, if you like challenges, you can ask questions with, with what, with who, with where. What would you have done if you hadn't? Graduated. Okay. What would you have done? If you hadn't graduated, okay? That's another question, that, another question that is really complicated. Who would you have worked if you hadn't been hired by this company, okay? I'm just giving you examples of, of what you're going to do, okay? Of what you're going to do. You can either write a yes, no question or a WH question, okay? Pueden usar la estructura de arriba o la de abajo, cualquiera de las dos, ya sea con las preguntas de sí y no, y con las preguntas ya abiertas, okay? People? Yes? I'm going to share this with you through the chat. The last question, what is the... We translate in Spanish, teacher. The last question. The, who would you have worked? Con quién hubieras trabajado si no te hubieras contratado? Con quién hubieras trabajado si no hubiera sido contratado por esta compañía? Exactly. Refer the other company. Maybe. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let me share this info through the chat. I just did. If you go, you can go over there. If you, if you go, you will see it. Okay, people. Beautiful. Go ahead, write the question. This question is going to be for a classmate, okay? Anybody, you're going to be, are you going to face off this classmate? And you're going to ask the questions to each other. Okay, and you're going to answer them, of course. Give me a second. If you have any questions, you can ask me.
I share with you another example in this chat. You can go and check it out. Yes? Okay. I think we're ready. Who wants to be who wants to be the first one? Or who won, who wants to be who wants to be the first one? Or who wants to be the first ones? A brave woman, a brave man. I'm listening, people. Okay, no then? Carla, hi. Carla, are you there? Pablo, you copy me. No, Carla is not there. Flor, hi, Flor. Flor, are you there? Hi, teacher. Okay, Flor, go. Um, um, you're gonna go or you're gonna it go it's confused for me teacher it is confusing <laughs> yes i understand don't worry okay have you finished did you finish or you haven't no okay then I'm going to give you some time, Flor, to finish. I'm gonna give Julia the chance to practice with uh, with Rosa. Julia and Rosa, please. Julia, Rosa. Yes, teacher. Go, guys. Okay, Julia. Okay. Julia, you ask Rosa or Rosa, you ask Julia, I don't know. Go ahead, just do it. Ask me, Julia, I'm trying. <laughs> eh. No, you ask me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Oh my God. Um, I don't know. No, teacher. Yeah, sorry, teacher. Uh, can I listen another another uh, another example and then I, I will try. Okay, you're not ready then. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. 
Uh, let me see. Adriana, are you there? Adriana and uh, Lourdes. Okay, I made example. If, if you have received rece receive the training, would you have feel good? Would you have? Uh -huh. Would you have felt? feel feel felt? Uh -huh. felt good? Okay. If you have re received the training, would you have feel felt mm -hmm. good? You have felt good. Yes. Bye. Yes, for me, uh, I haven't. Tiene que responder con la estructura. Yes, if I had received the training. Ah, okay. Yes, if I have received the training, I I will felt a uh, well or good. Okay, okay. Sounds fair. Good, good. Now you lower this ask Stephanie. Um, mm -hmm. If you had listening to a uh, Carol D, would you have enjoyed it? Would you have enjoyed it? This, uh, again. Yeah. Yes. If <laughs> if had listened to Carol D and I would, I, would have I, I would have enjoyed it. Enjoyed. <laughs> That's okay. That's your music. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's continue here. Uh, Gabriela, hi. Hi, teacher. Let's give uh, Mauricio the chance. Mauricio, go ahead, please. Thank you, Mauricio. Okay, teacher. Okay. Send me a question. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Uh, what would happen if you were not married? Mm, no, no, no. That's that's uh, that's the second conditional. Es el segundo condicional. If you, if I uh, repeat it, and what what would happen? What would have? If you what would have happened happen if what would happen if you were not married? Hold on, hold on. Estoy intentando decir que qué habría pasado si no te hubieras casado. What would happen if you were, were not married? Lo que, acaba, lo que usted acaba de decir es qué pasaría si no te hubieras casado. Okay, that's ¿Sí? that's the second conditional. Okay. Let me let me help you in Spanish. Okay. The first conditional, the first conditional, si te casas, esa es la, esa es la condición, la condición, el primer condicional, uh, si, te casas, si te casas, ¿qué harías? Okay. Uh, ok. Ok. El segundo condicional, condicional sería, el segundo, el segundo condicional sería. Si te casaras, pudieras ser feliz. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. Yes, it's a confusion. Excuse me. <laughs> and this structure is si tuvieras. Okay. Uh, so, la pregunta okay, está en el chat. Okay. The question is in the chat. What would have happened? What would have happened if you hadn't gotten married? ¿Qué hubiera pasado si no te hubieras casado? Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> would be happy, people. Okay. Thank be. you, teacher. Okay. Uh, so, if I hadn't gotten married, I will have. Uh, I'm happy. I would have been happy. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, people, I don't believe. You. 
Well, I'm okay. For me, it's okay because I'm divorced. So no problem. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm not lying. I... It's, it is true. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Teacher, oh. I, I, have my, I have my 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 sentence. I, okay. I, guess I, I am ready to... <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. If if you have broken your leg, you wouldn't have gone to work. No. Me pregunta. Me pregunta. Pregunta, Rosa. Uh huh. No, no, no. It, okay. Sorry. If you had broken your leg, you wouldn't have gone to work. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't, wouldn't you? Um, um I'm trying to I'm trying to, to say si tuviera si te quebraras tu pie no irías a trabajar. Mm. I would say I would say that if you had broken your leg, would you have skipped work? Okay. Ah, uh, like a question. Yeah, it is a question. We're, we're using questions. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yes. I'm going to go to your house and I'm going to hit you with the laptop. <laughs> no, teacher, come on. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. 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 Mm -hmm. uh -huh. if, if, if you had broken your leg, would mm -hmm. wouldn't you skip? Would wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Yeah, would you have? Would you have skip to work? Yes. If I had broken my leg, I would have skipped the work. Yeah, that's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> no, teacher, at, at my company, if you broke your leg, you have to go to work. <laughs> so if you, in your company, if you break your leg, you will have to go to work. That's not good. Yes. <laughs> Okay, in my in my job, if I lose my head, if I if I lose my head, I still have to go to work. Can you believe it? <laughs> yes, I can believe it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, all right. All right. Let's continue with another per person or another couple. Sulma, hi. <clears throat> Amela, are you there? Because it, it says connecting audio and it's, it's been like that for like the whole class, connecting, connecting. I think she's she's not there. She's there, but she's not there. There's something in between. All right, Sulma. Hi, Sulma. Talk to me. No, ignore me. And she's ignoring me. Thank you. Ernesto. Sure. Yes. Uh, I have an idea for a question, but okay. Can I try? Yeah, with with tell me, please. <laughs> okay. Where would you have gone if you had gotten the bonus? Okay, a good one. Anna. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. She's asking you a question. Yeah. My question or the, no. the answer? Julia was asking you a question. Uh, the, the answer. Could you please repeat, please? Yeah, sure, sure. Where would you have gone if you had gotten the bonus? If I had gotten the bonus, I could have travel to Italy. To Italy, okay, that's good, that's good. 
Mamma mia, tu era lì. Toscana, specific Toscana teacher. I have a friend, I have a friend who is living in Italy. Yes, Italy. My mother, my mother usually goes to Italy. She lives in, in Madrid. So Italy is not very far from Madrid. She usually goes for, for church events. She goes to Portugal. She goes to Italy. <laughs> right. Thank you. And now, Anna, can, my, you, can you please ask? My question. Me? Yeah, because Julia was participating. Julia, sorry. <laughs> my question, teacher. Yes, please. If you have have the opportunity of travel anywhere in the world, could you have liked to travel to South Korea? Julia, <laughs> are you with us? Yes, yes Carla. Sorry. Sorry, could you please repeat? Yeah. Um, if you have have the opportunity of travel anywhere in the world, would you have liked to travel to South Korea? South Korea. Uh, <laughs> yes. If I had. The opportunity, if I have had the opportunity to travel, I would have traveled to North Korea. I would have liked. I would have liked. To travel to Korea. Okay. Why are you asking these complicated questions, Selmy? <laughs> Yes, that was a well. Uh... I am sorry. <laughs> sorry. Okay, okay. Thank you, guys. Carla and uh, well, Guadalupe, Edwin, are you still uh, busy? Ophelia, Jose, Sulma. Teacher, I have. Uh, 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 I have my. Your my question. my example, yeah. My question: If you would, if you would have told me you need a ride, I would have left earlier. Could you please repeat or send it to the chat because I couldn't understand quite well. If you would have told me you need a ride, I would have left early. Oh. If you had told me, uh -huh. if you had told me you needed a ride, yeah, all right. I will, I will have left early earlier. <laughs> what? <laughs> I would have left earlier. Escucha lo que acaba de decir. Usted dijo, si me hubieras dicho que requerías un ride, me hubiera ido más antes. Eso, that's what you said. Es como que si hubiera salido más temprano. Pues. No, you, okay, no. It's no, like, no, please. The question is okay. The question is okay. Yes. Unfortunately, we do not have more people because they are busy. They are doing, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what they're doing exactly, but they are busy. <clears throat> I will quickly update the attendance list. Okay, Ada Patricia hasn't shown up, so she's not here. Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Present. Ana Sermi Cheres. Present teacher. Ana Sermi is sleeping. Uh, Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez. Present. Next is Guadalupe, Gloria, sorry, Gloria Elizabeth Linares. No, right. Guadalupe del Carmen. Jose Ernesto Osorio. Present. Julia Patricia Vázquez. Present. Carla Verónica Vázquez. Present. You are sisters, right? Teacher, 
I'm sorry, but today is my rose day with COVID. I, I am sick. You have COVID? Yes. Really? Yes. Did you take the exam? What? Did you take the exam? The COVID exam? The oh, exam, the exam. yes. Yes, it's possible. Oh, no. Bueno, ya me listé. Ya me listé yo. Así, let's continue. Vamos a... a... Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. No problem. Lourdes, hello. 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 Luis Orlando, he left because he was at the airport. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez. Present teacher. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Rosa Elena Sal Salgado. De Serrano. Present teacher. Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez. I haven't seen Sandra today. Susana Carolina? No, right? Walter Mauricio. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera, no. Zulma Rosara López. Flor de María Carballo. Present. And uh, Edwin Alexander. He was here, I think, when he left. And Wendy Patricia Molina, she didn't show up today. Sorry, <laughs> COVID. Okay. People, okay. let's continue. We are going to continue here. Thank you guys for the ones that participated. If you want to continue testing yourselves with examples or questions, you can send examples or questions through the Zoom chat and I will be checking them, okay? If you want to continue with the practice, okay? You can be sending me or you can be asking me the questions through the chat and I will be, I will be like trying to do my best to answer them, all right? Let me here. We are going to work on the book in this moment, and uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do part number five. We have already practiced the third conditional, so I am guessing that this exercise is going to be quite simple for you. Okay, there are five examples, and the indication says complete the third conditional sentences. We already have one. It says if she had checked the stock market reports she wouldn't have lost so much money, okay? Guys, continue with the rest, okay? I will give you one minute per example. So that means I will give you five minutes. Cinco minutos para hacerlo, okay?
if you have any questions, I'm here, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. Finish teacher. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Thank you, thank you for letting me know. Okay, we're gonna start checking from the first one to the last one. And uh, Ophelia, read the first one, please. Ophelia, primera, read number two. Okay. okay. <clears throat> As these things I has, I know, I think, I did mean this whole, whole dog, this, I just to have, Approbation. Okay. If Tim had hadn't attended the meeting, he would have missed the chance to get a promotion. Let me write it down because I don't have the option. Okay. If we hadn't attended, okay. If Tim hadn't attended. If Tim hadn't attended the meeting, he would, would have missed, okay? He would have missed the chance to get a promotion. He would have missed the chance to, to get a promotion. All right, thank you very much for reading. Let's continue with another person. Mm -hmm. Let me see, I mean, Walter, please. Uh, if the agent listed a more in the uh, alternative, he mm -hmm. would have he would have understood the customer reviews. Okay, let me write. Let me see what you what you got. You said if the agent had okay, if the agent had listened. 
Hmm. Okay, if the agent had listened more attentively, he would have understood the customer's request. He would have understood. He would have understood the customer's request. Thank you for reading. Nelson, can you please read the next one, Nelson? Number four, Nelson. If Fran had, had not him, you were at the office, he would have started you will stay and work late hours. Okay, if Frank had none, if Frank had none, you were at the office, he would have told you, he would have told you to stay, to stay, would have, would have told you to stay, That's the, the two is missing, to stay and work late hours. The next one, if the company, it says, a volunteer, if the company, me teacher, if the company hadn't invested in a new building, we would have had to share cubicles. Okay, if the company had not invested in a new building, we would have had, we would have had to share cubicles. Uh, just, hadn't invested. Okay. If the company hadn't invested in a new building, we would have we would have had. Okay, we would have had to share cubicles. And the last one, if Miss Mrs. Mrs. Hankins, Hankins, Jenkins, I don't know. Guys, tell me, a volunteer. No, Adriana, go Adriana, thank you. Okay, if Mr. Hankins had talked about Jeff bullying her manager part, would have done something about. Okay, if Mr. Mrs. Uh, Hankins had, what did I, what, what does it say, had talked. Yes, that was our participle. Talked. Had talked about Jeff bullying her. Manager Park would have done something about 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 it. Okay, people. Excellent. Thank you very much for your participation. Do you have any questions about this exam? exam? <laughs> Do you have any examples? I'm sorry, uh, questions about this? No? Okay, then let's move down here to part number six. It's a spare work. Roger is a problematic employee who is about to be demoted. He bullied the employees from different departments, but uh, bad mouthed managers presented important documentation late and used office equipment for personal purposes. And the question says, what would you have done differently if you had been Roger's manager? Give advice. And of course you have to do it using if, I mean the third conditional, okay? Questions people. Questions? No? Okay, then. We're gonna work, we're gonna work on that activity, but we're going to do it in couples and parejas. Okay, and I'm going to create the groups. I'm going to create the groups, okay? Um, let me see. Hmm. Edwin and Pamela. Um, 
Bismillah, Allah, 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 And uh, Sulma, are you available? Sulma? Está ahí, Sulma? Guadalupe, are you there? No. Okay, Sulma and Guadalupe in the same group. <laughs> and uh, Jose, are you available? Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's go. It's, it's in couples, okay? Just two people, you and another person. Try to work on that and then you will present it, okay? Let's go. People, let's go, vamos. Hi, Hello, teacher. Hi. Teacher, question. In the task, in the three is in the writer, uh, sentences is the three preconditional. Sorry? I confused because <clears throat> the activity is a, a writer and uh, Activity is activity number three. This, vamos a leer lo que está acá. Okay. Eso que está aquí es la, el problema. And then we have a question. Tenemos una pregunta. ¿Qué hubieras hecho diferente si hubieras sido el gerente de Roger? Okay. Da consejos. Okay. So we're going wow. to, this, you are going to discuss or talk about Roger. Okay. Yes. Read, ah, okay. read the problem in the book and then discuss the solutions to that. Okay. That's what we're okay. doing. Thank you, teacher. No okay. problem. I'm here. Okay. If you have any questions, I'm here. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Yes, I will have talk, talk, I think participio, talk, right. talk, is regular, verdad, verse, talk, yes. if I have been, mm -hmm. Yes, talk, talk. Bye. I will have talked with Roger. Talk, talk, or talk it uh -huh. with Roger for. Uh, for 
for now. Um, three, three. For now, the situation. Oh, oh, for now. No, no. Eh, para reconocer. For no. To know, to know, yes. And to know, to know less. To know the situation. Mm. Uh if I had been Roger manager, I could have used a reprimand. Okay, guys, continue. I'm gonna go to a different group, okay? Go on. Okay. okay. With the other co workers is a problem. Yes, it is. Yeah. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, I'm here. I'm listening. <laughs> yes. So, continue. Gabby, your advice, repeat for the teacher. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, we are talking about the importance of the uh, emotional intelligence and the, um, the, the, the important there is get the ability to work with other people. Because in this case, uh, the text say that uh, Roger is a problematic employee, so he has not a good relationship with him co-workers. Mm -hmm. So if I had a manager of Rogers, I would have had sanctioned if he won't change uh, or improve her him attitude. Okay, his attitude. All right, all right. That's a good one. Okay. Yes, in my case, in my opinion, it's important. Why don't you why, why don't you write like uh, your opinions separately? Uh, for example, Joanna writes Gabby's opinion, and Gabby writes uh, she writes your opinion. No, I didn't write. No, I'm just saying that I suggest. Ah, okay. A suggestion, okay. That's an idea. All right. Please continue, guys, talking about this because later you will talk about it. All right. Just go on. Right. Misbehavior. Uh -huh. Okay. Bad behavior. Hi. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, I scared you. We have we have just two advice. Okay. I, I'm gonna say one, and and Carla is gonna be it's gonna send the second one. All right, all right, sounds fair. Okay. okay. If I had been Royer's manager, I would have given him advices about his behaviors. Uh, pieces of advice. Pieces of advice. Repeat it. Repeat, Julia, please, because there is a mistake in what you said. Okay. Yes. Okay. If I had been Royer's manager, I would have given. Given, given him, him pieces. advice. No pieces. Tips. 
in the chat. Ah, let me check. Pieces. Pieces of advice. Pieces of, of advice. Yes. Okay. Nice. About his behavior. About his behavior. Okay, the second one. Mm -hmm. Let me explain this to you with, with advice and uh, advice is consejo, okay? See? Uh -huh. okay. Okay. But advice, la palabra advice is uncomfortable. En inglés no se puede contar. Mm -hmm. No se puede contar, okay? Entonces, para decir, para decir consejo, es plural, decimos pieces of advice. Ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. yes. Ok. Pieces of advice. Ok. Advices no. Ok. Advices no está correcto. Si es advice, oh, okay. con, si es advice es con S, sí. Ok. Que ese ya es advice, que es aconsejar. Con S. Ok. Yes. All right. Excellent people. You are going to present what you've done with everybody, okay, back in the main session, which will happen in a few minutes, okay? Okay. So guys, continue, continue working on your activity, okay? Make it perfect. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yes, no problem. Okay. <laughs> 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 we are laughing teacher because really? we are enjoying we are enjoying the, the practice <laughs> Bye, ¿qué dijeron? what did you say to enjoy the practice ¿Qué dijeron? teacher teacher it's okay it's okay for example eh, if i have been a real manager i will have talked to him and call her attention repeat it please teacher. okay I if have I been. have been, if I have been Roger manager, Roger's manager, I will have talk to talk with him uh -huh. and and Jamar and call her attention his attention. And warn him, you can say warn him. Ah, war, war uh, him. Yes, yes, warn him. Yes, that's the word. Yes, that's the word. Uh huh. Warn him. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Word him, attention. Yes, word so him. Only word him. Word him, yes. Ah, okay. Is that it? You only have one one example. No, we have more, but okay. that's 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 only ex another one example. That's just one example, okay? So yes. sh show me the real thing. <laughs> Uh, for example, in all in all the the advices we use, if I have been Roger's manager, it's mm -hmm. correct. That's okay. That's okay. Ah, okay, okay. If I have been Roger's manager, for example, when he had bad mouthers, bad mm -hmm. mouthers, mm -hmm. we can say, if mm -hmm. I have been Roger's manager, I will have to, I will have tell him. That is not the way to express about people. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, yes, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yes. Okay. All okay. right. Excellent. No, what, so, no, uh, can you okay. check my example in the chat? Ah, hello. Because if happened. I had been Ryan's manager, I would have told him that person that present uh, important reports on time. It's okay. I think it will be better, it will be better to say if I had been Royal manager, I would have told him that presenting important reports on time is crucial. Presenting okay. is where the on time the point is crucial. It's crucial. It's crucial. Hmm?
Let me repeat it. If I had been Ryan's manager, I would have told him that presenting important reports on time is crucial. Okay. Yes. Let me go. Let me go. Let me continue with my visit. So I'm gonna go to a different group, and I'll be back here soon. No, east, east, solo east. East, no, solo okay. east. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. yes, yes. Okay. That's all. We're gonna go back to go over here. I'm gonna go to a different group, okay? Guys, let's hear. Sorry, but I can hear well because in my yeah, house. Yeah, it's raining. It's raining it is, a lot. It is yeah. raining too. <laughs> oh, I'm lying. You're lying to me. <laughs> Now, teacher, he's raining a lot. Okay. <laughs> yes. Continue with the practice. I'm very calm. Hi, we're back. I'm here. Teacher, are we uh, assigned in the instructor now? The, the tier perk. Instructor, no. Are Hello, teacher. Hi. Uh, my partner and me, uh, the answer, and are, for example, and I will make an evaluation if you have the capacity to develop your work. And other option, I will have a meeting with Roger where uh, I will ask what is problem. Okay. It's correct. Uh, yes. What you're saying is correct. Está correcto, pero no con la estructura que estamos usando. Okay. Solo estamos usando el, pero Perfect. estamos usando el, third, el goal y el if. Third conditional, pero usted ha usado el segundo, no el tercero. Estamos usando el segundo, no el tercero. Estamos en el tercero y usted usa el segundo. Can you please repeat? Ah, okay. primero que dijo antes. Vamos a reescribir acá. If I, if uh, and I will make a uh, evaluation if you had uh, the capacity to I develop would, your work. You say I will make aria, right? Uh huh, aria. Pero no sería así. Say, hubiera I made a evaluation. Hubiera, hubiera hecho. I, if I would have made, hubiera hecho an uh -huh. evaluation. Uh, if you had the capacity. Para tu test, para experimentar o mostrar, para probar. Ese test significa probar. To test if he had. Digo. If you had uh, the capacity to develop your world. If he had, I would have made an evaluation if he had. Yes, capacity. <laughs> okay. Sería esa forma de respuesta. If I had been Ryers, si hubiera sido el, el gerente de Royer, if I had been Royer's manager, I would, I would have made an evaluation to test his capacity. Okay. Sería en español, si yo hubiera sido el gerente, manager, otra la E, manager, el gerente de Roger, hubiera hecho una evaluación para probar su capacidad. Ok. Ya, 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 ya. Ya entendí. Hay algo en En weekend de otro ejemplo. Yes. Uh -huh. Ok. Vamos a estructurarlo, ok. Ya no. captó la idea, Nelson. Sí, sí, sigan yeah. la estructura, ok. Sigan la estructura que está ahí. Ok. Si, if, you want, if you want, si quieren, pueden seguir usando la misma. Eso que está acá lo pueden usar, ok. Repetido. Sí, ok. Eso que está ahí subrayado. Lo demás lo hacen ustedes, ok. 
Continue. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. En other option, also. Give me a moment. En is en if I have been Roger manager. How is everything here, people? Right, teacher? Hello, teacher. How is everything here? Mm -hmm. Excuse me, teacher. Did you finish? Terminamos. Yes, it's about the part number six of page 23. Okay, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to the main session, people, and we're gonna present everything or share everything you've done over there. Okay, let's go back to the main session. Vamos, regresemos. Okay. Hi, we're back. Now we're gonna present or we're gonna share our, our answers. I would like to start with Lourdes. Lourdes, go ahead, Lourdes. I don't really remember who, who you were working with. So guys, go. Yeah, okay. With some, with uh, Rose. Okay, go ahead. Stage is yours. Okay. Ooh, my, um, my advice if I have been royal manager, mm -hmm. I would have a uh, tool presenting important reports on time is crucial. Okay. Okay, your example is perfect. Thank you, Lourdes. Uh, Rosa, do you have Rose? an example? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, talking about the, the way that Royer uh, bullied employees, if I have been Royer's managers, I will have asked him uh, uh, if he have problems, if he have problems. Mental problems. Person yeah, uh -huh. yes. <laughs> Personal problems. <laughs> no okay. mental teacher, no. <laughs> All right, and that's okay, that's okay. Thank you, Rosa, and all this for sharing. Seguimos, let's continue with Flor. Flor, hi. Hi, teacher. Um, if I had been Royer's manager, I would have spoken to him only three times. Three times, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Other, okay. if I had been Royer's manager, I could have used a reprimand. I would have, sorry. Used a reprimand. Okay, okay. And uh, you were working with Ariana, right? Ariana, Ariana. yes. Mm -hmm. If I had been Royer's manager, I would have sent him and uh, emotional intelligence training. And I will have done a performance evaluation to the staff. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you very much, both of you for your participation. Let's continue with Gabriela, Gabi. I don't really remember who you were working with. 
but go I, ahead. Uh, okay, I was working with Anna, said me. Jesus so, <laughs> okay, uh, if I had uh, the royal manager, if I, I had, will, if I had been, if I had been the royal manager, mm -hmm. I will have a, a speak uh, directly okay. with Roger and give him the opportunity to improve his attitude. Otherwise, uh, I will have to be sanctioned with a discount, maybe, okay. or even fire her if fire he him. don't want if he don't want to change his her, him attitude. His attitude. His attitude. Attitude. Okay. Okay. All right. And uh, of Anna, do you have an example? See, I told you Anna was sleeping. She's sleeping. Okay. Julia, are you there? Yes. I was I was working with Carla. Okay. Okay. Uh, my example is if I had been Royer's manager, I would have given him pieces of advice about his behavior okay about his behavior all right all right perfect thank example, you very much example oh. number two if i have been royal manager i would have talked to him directly about his misbehavior all right all right thank you both of you for your participation let's continue with uh walter go walter Okay, teacher. Um, yes, I'm listening. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. And if it had been royal manager, it would have made an evaluation to test his capacity. To test his capacity. Yes. Test mm -hmm. is capacity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue, continue. I'm listening. My partner, uh, Nelson. If I had been royal manager, I would have meaning what is asked. What is the problem for your attitude? Okay, I would have met. I would have met with him. Okay. Thank you both of you for your participation. Let's continue with uh, Ophelia here. Ophelia, hi. Hi, teacher. Mm -hmm. Manager Arroyo, I think you have to express what you have to do has for spring or the door. I don't read it. Are for work, especially us only for work, not for personal use. Could you please could you please write this information to the chat? Give me like a, a chat, please, Ophelia. Okay, okay, listen. Ernesto, do you have an example or a solution? Yes, teacher. Okay, could you please share it? Uh, yes, if I had been Roger's manager. Mm -hmm. um, I will have clarified the internal regulation of the company and in this way clarified the origin of the faults and I will have avoided the, the motion of the position and I will have applied a disciplinary process to curb the faults and okay. My advice it will have been that Roger's behavior had been corrected to avoid the motion as a last yeah. change. Okay, that sounds that sounds good. That sounds fair. All right, good good example. Uh, let me see, Sulma. Hi, do you have a solution? I think you don't because you were not really into this today. Guys, do you have any questions? Do you have any questions, people? 
we have already finished. Uh, well, yesterday, no, today I was checking the platform and there are some people that haven't work, worked. For example, oh no, Adriana, Adriana, hello. Adriana and, uh, well, I'm, yeah. going to, I'm going to say the names because you know, it's necessary for you guys to work. Adriana, you need to work on, on the first week, please. Flor de Maria, you too, you have to work on the first week. Lourdes, you haven't worked at all. You haven't done anything. You need to work on the first week, please. Well, first and second week, you know. But the, the next, the second yes, week. Yes, yes. And the second week is for the next week, all right? Sulma Rosaura, you haven't worked. You haven't worked uh, as much in the first week. And that's pretty much, okay. And the rest, you have been working, so that's good, okay? Yes. If you have any questions, let me know, okay? Nelson, usted no se ha quedado, ¿verdad, Nelson? Yes, teacher. Usted se quedó ayer, ¿verdad? No, me. Did you stay? Me permit, yes. And the. Ah, no, se quedó ahí, ¿verdad? Today, I... Se quedó, okay. Se yeah. Queda. Okay. Let me just quickly, quickly. Uh, I'm going to take attendance. Ana Patricia, no. Adriana Stephanie? Present. Ana Selmi? Present, teacher. Gabriela Alejandra? Present. Gloria Elizabeth? Guadalupe del Carmen? Jose Ernesto? Present, teacher. Julia Patricia Vázquez? Present. Carla Verónica. Present. Lourdes Beatriz. I'm here. Luis Orlando. Here. Nelson Edgardo. Ofelia Oriana Arce. Here, teacher. Pamela Beatriz. Rosa Inés Salgado. Present, teacher. Sandra Gladys, no. Susan, no. Walter Mauricio. You feel guardado? No, right? Sulma, you're there. I see you. Present. Flor de Maria Carvalho. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala. And Wendy, that was not here today. Okay. Guys, thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate your effort. I will see you on Monday. Okay. Take care. Have a good day. Have a good, day. Have a good weekend. Sorry. Enjoy with your family, your friends, or anybody around you. Okay, people, see you Monday. Take care. Goodbye. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Have a good Thank you. Bye bye. Have a good bye. weekend. Bye bye. See you. Bye. See you Monday. Bye. Have a good weekend. Thank bye. you. Bye bye. All right. Aquí estamos, Nelson. Hello. Hello. Okay. Nelson, we have. We have this this space or this this minutes uh, to clear or clarify your questions. Okay. And um, where and uh, for me, uh, I think uh, you your uh, menor menor is you explain the the class is good. Thank you. Yes, uh, I, I clarify more my topic and. That that is is third conditional is more confused. Yes, it is confusing. It's confusing, complicated, complex, demasiada estructura, combinación de palabras. Es, yes, in, in the in the verb, in the past participle. That's that's, I, 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 that's, mm -hmm. that's the difficult part. You have to remember. You have to remember the past participle of form of the verbs, and that yes. that, that makes everything more complicated or that makes the structure more complicated yeah i have the problem with in the in the in the who because in the platform i have the the one test 1.3 and i not complete 
because I I done more more tries and I no can. You couldn't you couldn't complete the exam. Okay, I understand. Yes. One one point three. You one point three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I might find some. Let me see. One point three. This is one point three. Okay. Uh, let me see. I wanna see. I wanna see where you had a mistake. That's all. Acá estamos. <clears throat> We're here. Which one? That's all. Uh, yeah. Yes. For example. Todas. I, I, for example, uh, I I take in the fear the fear sense, but. When uh, I array uh, who uh, depend uh, in the structure, uh, 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 always error. Mm, vamos. A general. Uh, sorry. A uh, general. Contract, contractor. Who is an employee? employee. Who is an employee? Provide materials for labor. For labor. Uh -huh. El punto, okay? Don't forget that. I want to submit it. Let's see what happens. Veamos qué pasa. It has to be correct. It is incorrect. Okay. Uh -huh. This it says. Instructions, type sentences using the relative pronoun who. Add the missing words and conjugate the verbs correctly. Ah, oh, okay, vamos a ver. Let me change it. Vamos a ver. A uh, general contractor is an employee. Employee. Who provides materials for labor? Veamos esto. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, we have one correct. Tenemos correcta la primera? Ah, yeah. Okay. Entonces, ah, yeah. después de... Okay, veamos la segunda. Premium, veamos, premium... Users, veamos, mire, mire. Premium users, luego usamos el R, R people, son personas, ok. Usuarios de premium son personas. User people. R people who upgraded to platinum, platinum services. Services, Services. Yes, okay. Services, we submitted. Está incorrecta. Okay, vamos a ver, a corregirla. Premium, premium users are people who upgraded. Yes, it's correct. Upgraded to Latinum. Latinum. Services. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Now we submit it. Y ahora sí está correcto. Ah, okay. okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ya, 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 ya. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ya tengo. Ok. Si a uno le aparece, no, no, no le aparece corregida, Nelson. Ahí, no sé si le aparece. En, bueno, permítame, muestro acá. Vamos, vamos a show this to you. No sé si le aparece esta, esta cosa que está aquí. Esto. Eh. Cuando, cuando lo haga, revise si aparece esto. Ajá. Okay. Ese es para ver la, ver la respuesta. Si no aparece, no aparece usted, pues me avisa. Ok. Ah, ok. Yes. Ok. Right. Sí, con esta tenía, por eso no he terminado esa. No me ha pasado, Ajá. pero hoy, hoy termino, lo, lo, hoy avanzo con la segunda unidad. Ok. Please, thank you. All right. Nelson, okay. do you have any, do you have any recommendations or suggestions, alguna sugerencia o recomendación? 
Mm. Well, this is Where? for improving the class to make the class better, you know? No, it is, is I have I like the 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 you uh, meeting the world and, and the other other compañeros. Classmates. No. Classmates, yeah. Yes, it's, it's good because it interacts with other uh, classmates. Yes, it's good, teacher. Okay, excellent, excellent. Mm. That motivates me to continue, okay? Yes. Your microphone, microphone. Your microphone is off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, teacher. Uh, it's, it's on. It's All so right. good to your class. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you, okay. okay. Yes. Good night. All right. Good night, Nelson. See you. I will see you on okay. Monday, okay? Take care. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye.